Hey, what's up, everyone? So today we learned that Proterra is finally going to be merging with a SPAC and going public. In this video, we're going to first talk about the merger details and then explain what you need to know about Proterra. And finally, we will discuss the stock price potential and valuations. Also, if you like content like this, make sure you scroll down and hit that subscribe button and also smash the thumbs up button if you're excited about Proterra. So first, here are some quick details of the merger. The deal is valuing Proterra at $1.6 billion enterprise value per merger. That's a 3.6x from 2022 revenue. Equity value will be $2.4 billion. That means there will be $240 million outstanding shares after the merger. So at $10 per share, that's a market cap of $2.4 billion. So you can essentially do the math from that point to calculate what the current market cap would be. Because you can't do it otherwise. Go ahead and try and pop open a new tab and look up Arclight's outstanding shares or market cap right now. It's not the same number and has no relevance anymore. So if ACTC is at 15 bucks a share, the market cap would be 240 million times 15, which is 3.6 billion. Proterra will be receiving 648 million in cash, which includes a 415 million pipe investment, including several key names like Daimler Trucks and also the very notorious Chamath Palihapitiya. As for ownership, Arclight shareholders, so if you buy ACTC stock, will own 11.6%, current Proterra equity owners have 68.6%, and pipe investors will have 17.3%. Now most importantly, let's talk about Proterra, the company itself, one of the most exciting EV transportation companies. So is this company legit? First I want to hear your opinion and for you to answer this question in the comments below after watching my summary on the company. So firstly, Proterra was founded in January of 2004 by Dale Hill in Golden, Colorado. The company focuses on designing and manufacturing electric transit vehicles, also EV solutions for more heavy-duty transportation vehicles. They have built their name around their popular electric buses, to which they have sold around 1,000 buses in 43 U.S. states and Canadian provinces. They also have been executing their goal of reducing emissions, to which they have prevented more than 27.5 thousand tons of greenhouse gases from being emitted. So here's some rapid fire facts on the company's development. After four years of development, in November of 2008, Proterra debuted its first bus called the EcoRide. Then in January 2009, it sold its first bus. In January 2011, they opened their first factory in South Carolina. They continued growing through 2011 and 2012. In January 2013, they introduced the Catalyst FC bus, which offered fast charging. In 2013, they reached 50 buses total sold. They continued growing, and in February of 2015, they released the Catalyst XR, which was an extended range bus. In October 2015, they moved their HQ to Silicon Valley, and in December of 2015, they reached 100 total buses sold. In September of 2016, they introduced the Catalyst E2, which set new records in range. In May of 2017, they initiated their autonomous bus program. In June of 2017, they became recognized by Global Charging Standardization Organization as the first North American EV bus manufacturer. And they also closed a Series 6 round of $55 million in capital raised. Then in July of 2017, they opened up a manufacturing center in City of Industry, California, which was commemorated by the governor. And in August, they entered the airport market by selling buses to RDU Airport. In September, the Catalyst E2 set a world record of 1,101.2 miles of distance on one charge by any electric vehicle. Then, in October of 2017, they released the Duo Power drivetrain, which gave the Catalyst bus twice as much horsepower and acceleration, and five times as much efficiency compared to diesel buses. In, in December, Yosemite became first U.S. national park to purchase from Proterra. Also in December, they expanded their sales to more than 60 city, university, airport, and transit company customers. And in January of 2018, they are named North American Company of the Year. In May of 2018, they introduced a new EV charging tech. And in June, they entered the Canadian market. In September, they closed a $155 million investment from Daimler Tau Capital, G2VP, and others. They also introduced the Proterra Apex, which is an intelligence vehicle system. 
In October of 2018, they introduced the electric school bus. In April of 2019, they reduced their cost margins for batteries to be similar to diesel buses. In May of 2019, they announced Proterra Energy Fleet Solutions for heavy-duty vehicles. And also in May, they announced a partnership with Michelin for an EV bus tire. Then in September of 2020, just a few months ago, they unveiled the ZX-5, which is the fifth generation version and has the longest range of any 40-foot electric bus. And recently in October of 2020, they announced a $150 million investment from Cohen Sustainable Investors and $50 million total from Soros Fund Management, Generation Investment Management, and Broadscale Group, which totals $200 million. So, whew, that is a super condensed summary of Proterra's development and growth since its inception. And you can see they've been growing powerfully and have been innovating consistently. And talking about innovation, they have done a remarkable amount of it. They have acquired engineers from companies like Tesla, Ford, GM, BMW, and Daimler. They also design and manufacture their own batteries in Silicon Valley and have created their own more efficient drivetrains and powertrains with proprietary charging systems and have also worked with Michelin to design their own tires. And as many of you know, batteries are incredibly heavy. So they have been able to design a very light body that is strong, but also allows more battery weight so it can have longer range. And their battery packs also have intelligent capabilities and a proprietary management system that adjusts energy reserves to maximize range. That sounds pretty cool to me. And compared to combustion-based buses, they have 1.5 times as much acceleration and 25 miles per gallon efficiency, which is five times better than diesel buses. And they also do really well on steep inclines. And as I mentioned earlier, they have the Proterra Apex Intelligence System that lets controllers with many buses get lots of data and perform analytics on the fleet. Also worth mentioning is Proterra is a very pro-US company with 75% of materials coming from the US and they also have facilities in Southern California. Now let's talk about their actual business and products and specs. So firstly, we have low floor electric transit buses and there have been five generations, but the latest model is called the ZX-5. They have 329 miles on a single charge, which is pretty darn good. And of course, zero emissions. Also, take note that the bus was announced in September 2020, and it is a pretty phenomenal bus. This model has better lights, a streamlined roof for more battery packs, less height, more shock absorption, and more ability to be mass-produced. There is a 35-foot model and a 40-foot model. The 35-foot bus has 440 kilowatt hours with a range of 240 miles. Horsepower is 550 with 0 to 20 in 5.6 seconds and 29-person capacity. The 40-foot bus has 660 kilowatt hour battery with a max range of 329 miles and also 550 horsepower with 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds and 40 person seating capacity. They average around 23 to 25 miles per gallon compared to diesel or hybrid which averages around 4 miles per gallon. So there's a massive efficiency and cost savings. With this you can save over 400,000 per vehicle by switching to electric Proterra buses. Pay attention there. Now moving on, Proterra also has partnered with Thomas Built Buses to electrify their school buses and create a 100% electric school bus. So Proterra has the SAF-T Liner C2 Jolie Electric School Bus. The bus has zero emissions, includes Proterra's proprietary drivetrain and regenerative braking, and also costs cheaper to run. It also uses the Proterra battery, which has intelligent features and incredible efficiency and has proven success. The buses are also compatible with Proterra's charging systems. Finally, Proterra also is developing electric coach buses called the CX45E Electric Motor Coach, which is built with a partnership with Van Cool, which is leading, which is a leading bus manufacturer. The bus is currently in development, but with Proterra's technology and Van Hool's reputation, it will likely be very successful. Moving on, let's discuss Proterra's energy fleet solutions. They help with transitioning fleets to completely electrified systems and helping customers develop the full energy ecosystem. Firstly, Proterra uses root analysis and modeling to help customers choose the right charging configurations and battery to get the right balance. They also have a team that helps to install charging equipment for fleets. They also offer assistance with maintenance and management for charging systems, and they leave an option for pay-as-you-go energy systems, where Proterra owns 
owns the charging equipment and batteries and the customer just pays to use it. Finally, we have Proterra Powered. This business seems pretty interesting in that Proterra offers their EV solutions to convert other commercial vehicles into Proterra Powered vehicles. This is offered to vehicle manufacturers and Proterra is is tasked with electrifying medium or heavy duty vehicles. They have developed pretty impressive batteries, drivetrains, and charging systems. So it seems this service would be very appealing. I mean, remember, as I said earlier, one of their buses broke the world record for the furthest distance traveled by an electric vehicle, which is over 1,100 miles. So the vision for the future looks like Proterra will continue to expand into public and commercial transit, airport, transportation, universities, and schools. And from what we talked about today, it looks like they are in prime position to do so. So going back to my earlier question, do you think Proterra is a legit company? Well, let me know if you think so by clicking the thumbs up and telling me in the comments. But as for the stock price and valuation, well, first of all, I actually think that this deal valued Proterra at a very inexpensive price considering their growth. The company is growing at a very strong 68% CAGR or compound annual growth rate and will be making around $250 million this year, which is going up to $2.6 billion by 2025. That's pretty incredible growth. And their profit margin will also be up to 25% by then, according to their predictions. So normally with some companies pre-revenue, whether it be a rival or Lordstown, when the stock might be way overvalued, I actually think Proterra is worth a premium considering the deal is valuing them at 2.4 billion equity value. So if ACTC stock runs up to 20 bucks a share or 30 bucks a share, I would not be surprised. Proterra seems to be worth the hype. But that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and liking the video if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.